All right. Good morning, everybody. Happy Thursday on this 22nd of March. How is everybody doing? Good to see you. Grant, good to see you. Dave, John, Donna, good to see you. Deb, Deb Fine, good to see you. Kevin, Akira, Todd, and all the cyber traders. Good morning. All right. I don't know about you guys, but um, we got hit with some pretty nasty snow. We finally, this whole big nor'easter that they were talking about, we finally got, got pretty hit pretty bad. Um, I got about a foot of snow. But um, we're running a little slow here in, 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 at CTU, so just be a little patient with us. Everyone's just trying to get in nice and safe, you know, and that's the most important part. But uh, with that said, schools are open. So, you know, you saw what happened yesterday with the market uh, being very wishy-washy, uh, especially early in the morning with this whole the whole thing. They closed the city schools, and which is very rare they do that. Um, but, uh, but with that, you know, the reason why I bring this up is because – when the mark, when the way people are not able to get to work and stuff like that, and the kids are from school, then these remember this is the financial capital of the world. That means that you know Wall Street's going to be kind of slow down. So, and we saw what happened. But overall, there were a couple of good stocks. I mean, listen, you saw what Monday and Tuesday brought. You saw what last week brought, and then when you had these vacation days come up and so on. Which, by the way, next week uh, is um, is Easter. And a lot of people are going to be on vacation. I expect it's going to be a slow one. So going into the last, you know, what is it? The, uh, yeah, Passover is on the 31st. So you have about a week. Palm Sunday is next, uh, is, is this week, actually, this Sunday. So I, I, I think it's going to be pretty slow going to next week, which is okay, which is good. You want to just make sure you schedule how that is going to affect everybody, especially being with spring break. But we did do pretty well in a couple of stocks. So let's talk about them. There's a couple of moving this morning. Um, market obviously is down a little bit. Nothing spectacular. It was down 200 points, something like that. You know, uh, so it looks like we got a nice little down open going on right now. But anyway, a couple of good stocks that, and, and a couple of good shout outs I want to do. First of all, let's bring up some the MRA, um, MARA yesterday that we traded. That stock did really, really well. Very cheap little stock, not expensive, right around the budget, everyone. You could see here on the long term chart, the stock uh, we traded back in November it went from a buck, uh, buck 50 all the way to $10 in two days. But a couple of you guys did well. It didn't. Pull that off like it did in November, but some of you did pretty well. Uh, Chris C made about 15 cents on 2,000 shares. Not bad. Pretty good right there. Also, um, John B made 21 cents, and uh, Aquila made about 31 cents. Give them a round of applause on that. But uh, but like I do, I got to do a really nice shout out. He worked, you know, here's a guy that works really hard. He's such a great contributor to CTU, great, so loyal to CTU. And um, and you all are very, very familiar with him. He's our gold man. You know, Grant Brockway, you know, I, really, I haven't really, you know, done a couple of shout outs. But let's give him a big little shout out because you know how big he's with gold. And he did pretty well yesterday on the J-Nut, you know. Let's bring that up, the J-Nut. He did, um, he traded, he did eight trades on it. He made a buck 36 on 4,000 shares. He said it was one of his better days, okay? So I can imagine what his great days look like, but he did pretty well yesterday, and and uh, let's give him a round of applause right there. Good way to go, Grant. Good job, Grant. And then uh, Lawrence did pretty well. He traded the TEUM. They make a killing on it. Oops, what I type in a wrong window. Uh, the TEUM made about uh, 27 cents on that trade. You can see that stock was nice, a little cheapy, and that one did pretty well. So way to go, uh, way to go, Lawrence. That's a pretty good job on that one. All right, so let's do some shopping and see what's going on. Uh, there are a couple of stocks uh, that are moving. Obviously, you saw what happened with the Fed rate yesterday, so it kind of affected the market. The market was pretty volatile yesterday. Uh, I mean, we just had this hell of a rally that just went from – you know, uh, I mean, we had a bounce, almost like 100, 150 points, and it overall tanked going right into the close. And I told you this, that it's not, you know, I'm not a big fan trading on the Fed rate announcements. I always want to wait and see what happens at 3.30, and, you know, and we had a little bit of a crash. Market uh, hit the lows of the day. So I'm getting a little nervous what's happening with the market, by the way, guys. We're not, listen. Remember how I taught you how to day trade, right? And remember in class, we talk about higher highs, lower lows, and we talk about the shakes and stuff like that. Well, you know, right now I'm seeing a little bit of a funnel on the Dow, and it looks like it's breaking lower lows. So I'm really concerned. I'm going to keep an eye on it. And the reason why I'm concerned is because we had such a big rally, and I do have some 
swing trades and some yeah you know, i gotta tell my hedge fund guys that have my, my my iras i might have to tell them to move it in cash if i get a little nervous here so uh you know i'm, I'm always willing to hold it within the storm but if we get down to the 23 fives 23,500, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to start thinking twice about it. All right, so a couple of stocks. So uh, a couple of stocks I do want to keep an eye on. Uh, first of all, you know, I see a lot of you guys here bright and early in the morning. And this is one stock I had earlier this morning, right around, uh, you know, 8 o'clock this morning, the OMER. So I don't know if, I, uh, you know, if you guys jumped in when you're supposed to, but you could see it did exactly what it's supposed to do at 8.30 and had its good pop right there, had a little bit of a shake right there. Then, boom, the thing went from... 15 all the way to 18 nice little tier sizes you know little hundreds here and there but the stock is a little bit more of a advanced trader you know you need to be like a level three level four to trade the stock you could see it that um spreads pretty pretty wide right here you gotta be a little careful on it it's not some of the, like the typical level one stocks that we traded but that one is going to make the watch list arna how about that one huh that was a lot of fun yesterday I mean, talking about a roller coaster, 44 down to $30, boom, right back to 46, boom, right down to 41. I mean, this thing was all over the place. Uh, very fast moving stock, though. Also, look at the spread. Not a big fan with the tier sizes out there. You can see it. Couple of hundreds, no big block orders that we're looking for. So once again, you got to be an advanced trader to trade this. You got to be. An, you got to be. <clears throat> can't be a level one cyber trader to trade it. Um, so be very careful with that one. But it will make the Fausto uh, watch list. All right, something within maybe in everyone's price range. Uh, this is a little bit of a scalping stock. It's in a five cent spread. So uh, for all you scalp traders that I, I trained, listen, the stock is breaking the lower lows. You can see it's got a nice little trend right there. Um, breaking, you know, it's at the lows. Thing had a huge rally from 12 to 17. So you can go back like yesterday, a couple of days, find those support and resistance levels. And remember, I like to trade, you know, more of these than the other stocks with the penny spreads because when it goes one tick you make five cents and it kind of weeds out a lot of the uh amateurs that trade it so that one's pretty well and then listen with the market being down guys all the etfs are going to be moving i don't need to go through the whole list but you, i mean you got you got this one right here the vxx you got the, the uvxys you got you know um, even on the the, the, the triple shorts, I mean, the, the DT, the DWTs, uh, the SPLXs, I mean, they're all out there. So, you know, I'm not always a big fan of trading ETFs because they don't always move. And also, you deal with the best traders on Wall Street, but you do have a, the market's going to be very volatile today. So ETFs will work. And once again, um, you can always trade some brand names. You got the, you know, you got the Gerns, you got the Micron Technologies, you got the, you know, uh, Bank of America is and all that good stuff, you know, Deutsche Banks and, you know, GE and all those Intels and all those uh, high tech stocks. But um, but overall, I mean, let's see how the market opens up. Once again, it's not we don't have a really big list. You know, we always have about 10 stocks. And obviously, you saw what happened yesterday. There's always new ones that pop out right out of the gate. So if you if you got into the OMER like you were supposed to this morning, as of right now, I'd probably wait until 930. All right, guys, anything I missed that I did not call out? Deb Fine uh, is bringing up the, the ES trade. I mean, you could see it's really not doing anything. No volume. I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, I would not really doing anything right now. If, if that's a stock symbol that you tell me right now, uh, Deb. Any other? Anybody else? Uh, any other stocks? All right, guys. So listen, just be patient. Let's see what happens when we opened up. So if you didn't get the the O the O M E R, don't worry about it. Let's just hold off and see what happens when it opens up. In the meantime, remember today is 12 o'clock uh, this afternoon. We are having a new open house, guys. Slow time of the day come down let's try to recruit some more traders let's show them how we make money and uh remember the more traders that come and join ctu the easier life becomes because you know this is not a one-man dance you know it's about a team effort so let's go out there and try to recruit some more traders today and tell them exactly how we do it so be fun uh that'll be fun if you don't have anything just come there and i'll see you then in the meantime we'll see you back at 2:30. all right let's see how this trades and uh let's try to make money going into this open good luck everyone happy trading